covers for the board that we've created. Let me go ahead and show you the cookie board that we were working on earlier to show you that I've finished. Let's try. This video is to show you how to make the board covers for the MET method um, way of getting more Pinterest followers. This video is to show you how to make the board covers that we use in MET method. Um, which is a method to gain more Pinterest followers. Again, if you haven't read that post, go to Dilly Marketing and search the Met method. They'll come up, and it's a, a method we have for gaining more Pinterest followers in as little as 24 hours. Anyway, this section or this video is to show you how to make the board cover that we are then going to spread and have people repin. Um, as you can see, I finished making the board. It has 32 pins. We'll add more as we go. But you can see the content, the types of content that we've pinned to follow up with the last video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create that board cover. And because Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and Paint.net can have such a high learning curve and we're making such a simple image, we're going to use the easiest software possible. Um, we've found that PicMonkey does a really good job and it's free. You can upgrade, and there's some great features to upgrade, and so if you're going to make a lot of Im images, I recommend upgrading, but for now we're going to go ahead and use their free software. So let's get an image, and come up here to edit photo, and I'm going to choose from my computer. Sorry, it runs a little slow when I'm trying to make the videos as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to find an image um, out of the board that you've pinned all the content to, one that most identifies the entire board, and then we're going to make a cover image for it. If my computer loads the files here. All right, I picked one. I picked this Rolo cookie that looked great. You want something that's going to draw attention, that's a little bit different and unique, um, but it's definitely a good idea. For me, that was this image as it loads. The board cover is going to get pinned to the group boards that you're a member of or any other avenues that we have to push this pin. So selecting a great image is the start. From here, you can use these features here to adjust the image if you want to, but I think it's pretty clear. So the main things that I'm going to do, I'm going to add a label, we call it an overlay in PicMonkey. You're wanting to title it, um, give the image some text, that helps it stand out. So here there's all kinds of different options, you can flip through these. Just for purposes today, I've gone ahead and selected something. I can find it. Um, we're going to go with an engraved banner. There we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. What we're doing is trying to make a place for the title for the image. Um, PicMonkey has some pre-created options for that. I'm going to select this banner. I think it looks pretty cool. There's all 
kind of different labels and banners in here. Drag it on. Play with the size a little bit. I'm going to pardon the lines. I like the sketchbook. Um, you can make it bigger than this so that the actual image of the label runs off a little bit. Make it a little bit more artistic this way. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color. The white doesn't seem to stand out as well as I'd want it to for the label, so we're going to get color 2 here. Uh, we've got a yellow. Try that again. You don't have to be an interior designer, a graphic designer, or have any sort of creative disposition in order to do this. They're pretty simple. Even if I were to stick with the white banner, it wouldn't be that bad of an image, which is what I may have to do. You can play with the fade levels a little bit, make the banner a little bit more translucent. Let's try these colors one more time. Big monkey seems to be running out of slow. Oh, there's my chat window. Sorry. Oh, come on, pillars. Okay, it's not going to do it. So, we're going to go ahead and add some text. Oh, now it goes. Let's see if we can find a good color here. Alright, text. And we're going to find a font we like. 